Another class of multiple access protocols are taking turns MAC protocols. Remember that channel partitioning protocols slice the resources to equal portions and assign them to users equally. Therefore, the users do not experience collision and the protocol performs efficient and fair at high load. However, since these protocols do not use the unused portions allocated to either users, they are inefficient at low loads. For example, if we have n users out of which there is only one active user, the one active user can only use its share of 1 over n and cannot use the resources allocated to the ideal users. This makes these protocols very inefficient at low loads. Random access MAC protocols, on the other hand, are efficient at low loads. A single node can fully utilize the channel if it has frames to set. But since the access is at random, high load causes collision, which recovering from adds overhead and lowers efficiency in high loads. The taking turns protocols have best of the both worlds. They share the channel efficiently and fairly, and they can allocate the ideal users on used resources to the users that have frames to send. Let's see how they work. A type of taking turns protocols are polling protocols. Polling protocols have a master node, like the one shown in the figure, that pulls each one of the nodes in a round robin way and tells them that they're allowed to transmit up to a certain number of frames. The node that is pulled uses the chance to transmit. The human analogy is having a moderator, for example, in a panel, letting people know when to speak with directed questions. This eliminates the collision problem and improves resource usage for more active nodes when there are ideal nodes in the system. However, the master is performing a coordination in the system. This is an overhead on the system. It takes time to do the polling, therefore that adds to the latency of the system as well. It also introduces a single point of failure to the system, which is the master node. Another class of taking turns protocols are token passing protocols. In token passing, a token which controls the access to the channel is passed from one node to the next sequentially to allow the node to transmit. If a node does not have anything to send, it immediately sends the token to the next node. If a node has frames to transmit, it holds on to the token while it transmits up to a certain number of frames allowed by the token. Then it passes the token to the next node. The human analogy is like passing a microphone among the speakers to signal their turn to speak. Token passing is decentralized and highly efficient. However, this is also introducing overhead to the system, which is the overhead of the token itself. It adds to the latency of the system by wait for the token. It also has a single point of failure, which is a token which might stop rotating among nodes when a node crashes or a node neglects to pass the token on. Recovery mechanisms are required in these cases.